According to the United Nations Fund for Population Activities, three in ten Nigerian women have experienced physical violence by the age of 15. From forced and early marriages to the physical, mental or sexual assault on women. And this is despite several interventions, collaborations and enlightenment campaigns. The figures are particularly high in northern Nigeria, partly due to the Boko Haram insurgency. The three initiatives launched today, representing nearly 40 million Canadian dollars or 11 billion naira, will help improve the health and rights of Nigerian women and adolescent girls. So I'll repeat that, 11 billion naira. These innovative and evidence-based projects will increase the availability of and access to reproductive health commodities and services. They'll also help prevent and address gaps in gender-based violence and harmful practices towards women and girls. The Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development spoke on the need to penalize offenders and what her ministry is doing to assist in ending gender-based violence. My ministry is currently supporting the development of multisexual coordination and response mechanisms at national, state and local levels to address GBV, most especially against women. Taking the message to the local levels will require traditional rulers to be on board. The Megeri Dankadankano preferred solutions at the ward level. At the society level, I recommend what we do at the Emerald Council level, which is message advocacy through government traditional and religious leaders, and also bringing the full force of the law to bear on the perpetrators. One of the nurses at the primary health care facility in Kuchingoro highlighted the major issues they face while dealing with victims of gender-based violence. Most time, privacy is not guaranteed because site use is open. This discourages clients from expressing themselves freely. Hence, they need to improve our counseling facilities. Gender-based violence is one of the biggest hindrances in the advancement of gender equality in Nigeria. Hopefully, this 11 billion naira investment from the Canadian government will produce a secure Nigeria where women and girls are free from violence and empowered to reach their full potential. Kayla Magua, Channels Television News.